The UK Border Agency is at war with smugglers in the ports and airports. We don't have to say anything. Get that out of my face. Coming up, a suspect claims she's been treated unfairly despite the evidence. What we don't know is what somebody's problem looks like. Me, I don't That's, know. This. No. Officers go toe to toe with an angry passenger robbers, in Manchester. Robbers, robbers just want more money off us. Run out! And for this travelling chef... What's on there? I'm arresting you on... Smuggling drugs is a recipe for disaster. In Gatwick, a flight from St Lucia has just landed. As the passengers disembark, UK border officers and sniffer dog Lucy are waiting on the hunt for any traces of Class A drugs. Thank you. Thank you. The officers are also on the lookout for suspicious behaviour. Thank you. And when Lucy shows interest in this couple... That's fine, thank yeah, you. Can you slow your back for me? Yeah. Both passengers seem nervous. Thank you. Handler Claire tracks the couple through passport control to baggage reclaim, where the search officers are waiting. Yeah, they're sort of to the right. Came away because he is looking this way, but I think he's just sort of looking everywhere in yeah. general anyway. Yeah, Jason was saying that he's pretty nervous. The team keep a close eye on the suspect as they head for the exit. When an officer stops the woman... Hi, yeah, where have you arrived from today? St Lucia. Lucia. The man seems to walk on. Are you travelling together? Yes. Yeah. yeah, do you mind just stopping at the bench for me, please? But the officer pulls him over as well. Separating up the channels is a tactic often employed by smugglers, and the officers start to think they may be onto something. I just ask you a few questions about the bags. Oh, Obviously, right. are you travelling together? Have you been together yes, for the yes, week? Yes, yes, I'm actually unemployed, but I do escorting on the side, so okay. I do get some money. Okay, have you packed the bags okay. yourselves? Yeah, yeah, I have. Are you fully aware of the contents of your yeah. bags? Yeah. yeah. The passengers seem a little jumpy. I'm a in there. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I've got tummy names. And the officer notices her laptop is held together by laptop. sticky tape. Oh, That's mine. Yeah, okay, can you turn it on for me? Have you got the bag? Officers at Gatwick have recently found drugs hidden in laptops, and this one looks highly suspicious. Well, if it goes to the X-ray, we don't need to put it apart, do we? We're just having a look at it because it's got tape all over it, which isn't usual. Sorry? It's got tape all over it. Yeah, it's all bit together. Okay, then, there's not going to be a problem, is there? The laptop is clear, but with around 1,500 kilos of cocaine seized at the border every year, the officers know to investigate every possible angle. And there's still one bag that needs to be searched. Have you got a little rucksack, Diz? Do you have a rucksack? Yeah, I took them, yeah, my bag. Yeah. Put the camera up. Got dirty in it. They swab the inside of the rucksack for traces of drugs. They now need to look again to find out where the cocaine trace may have come from. That comes to them. Um, there you go. Basically, yeah. what we did there was a swab of your bag and yeah. it came up with a hit of heroin. Uh, sorry, heroin. 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 So heroin cocaine. Have you used any cocaine whilst no, you've been away? No. You got anything in the bag at all? No, not that. No. no. That is your bag, is it? No, you have to check. Inside the rucksack is a plastic bag. Have you got in there in that bag? What is you tell me what to do in your bag? Like Just take your hands off it, then you don't no. know this is yours. No, I would be put in there. No. Can you stand back for me. Someone took our bag to the airport, we had to check in. Yeah, we had to check at the airport. Yeah. Stand there for me. You're saying you don't know what this is? No. Okay, stay there, please. Stay there a sec. Yeah, there we go. Coke. See the white there? It is what it is. It's just cylinders of cocaine. Is it? Yeah. So they were arrested at 6.56. No 
right? Yeah, I'm fine. What was it then? It is. I'm afraid it's tested huh? positive for cocaine. Is it? So I need you both okay. to listen to what I'm going to yeah. say. Go okay. It's 0656 on the 15th of July. I'm arresting you both on the suspicion of being involved with the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a load of cocaine. I tell you. The couple are taken into custody, denying any knowledge of the importation. I haven't done anything wrong. That's been planted on us, you know. OK, well... I'm telling you. You're under arrest and you have been advised that you don't have to say anything. The investigation into who the drugs belong to can now begin. In Manchester, officers are always on the lookout for bags arriving from EU countries containing large amounts of tobacco. The officers need to stop and question the passengers to make sure the goods are all for personal use. Hey, mate. But this passenger is far from happy. You're not. You're not. You're being cheated. And all the professionals are allowed them. And yes. Now, many we could bring in, we brought them in, we tell them we're not allowed to do this. Why tell us we're allowed to do it? We can bring them, bring them in and then stop us and give us this crap. You're being nice, you're being horrible. You singled us out, you stood there, watched us, around. you picked no one up, you see the camera, mate. The man's aggression is starting to escalate. You cheeky, you cheeky. We're allowed to buy cigarettes, we smoke. Why should we pay your government? That's his prices. Hey, hey, you robbers. You robbers. Robbers, robbers, robbers. Oh, you can't help me now, mate. Robbers, robbers, robbers. Just want more money off us. With the man now threatening to lose control, more officers arrive to help calm the situation. Run out, run out, run out, run out. All this before the officers have started the search. The woman's tobacco is below the guidelines, but if she's caught bringing in a similar amount again, it may be seized. The woman understands, but the man is still angry. The person was actually quite angry and agitated because he'd been intercepted. Uh, by my officer. I thought um, he was going to attack one of my um, colleagues. Obviously, I took a position um, just in case if anything um, was to happen, I could actually take the person down. It doesn't happen too often, but when it does happen, it can really escalate. Thankfully, it all ends peacefully. Back in Gatwick, the two people caught with cocaine in their hand luggage are under arrest and officers are working out the scale of the crime. Three kilos, 0 0.590, probably three kilos at the end. We were looking at the bag, looking at the laptop, looking at something sophisticated, very well hidden. And to be fair, to find six big blocks like that in a bag, I haven't seen it for a long time. The female suspect is a former heroin addict and is now asking for her medication. We can't give you any medication, obviously, because we're not doctors. Really Listen to me. We need to do it. No, I understand that. We need to do a search of your person, and then we need to take you down to custody, and that's when you'll get given your solicitor, and we'll call, call in a nurse or a doctor. I'll tell you what, I ain't done nothing, and I'm not even holding any, myself accountable for any of this because I've done nothing. I knew about nothing. Okay. It's been planted. My friend wouldn't do that. Basically, you need to speak to your solicitor to route those, OK? Tested positive for cocaine. And it's three and a half kilos, which is three and a half quite kilos. a lot. The couple will now be strip searched. I'm also going to have to get you to bend over at one point so I can see you've got nothing internally. Of course, okay. of course. Meanwhile, sniffer dog Lucy is brought in to be trained up on the unique scent of this cocaine seizure. With drugs varying widely in both purity and quality, any chance to give dogs a new scent increases their chances of sniffing out more smugglers. The suspects are now transferred to the custody suite for further questioning. Baggage search of his rucksack, hand baggage. 
revealed a number of cylindrical shaped packages that tested positive for cocaine. Do you have your own solicitor or do you want to duty? Duty. Duty. That's fine. Arrange that for you. Do you want anyone notified you're here? No. No? no. So three, please. Okay, just take the shoes off and then pop off. As the female suspect arrives, the arresting officer brings the investigation team up to speed. She's got nothing in hers. He did her bag first. Did her bag first, her and her handbag. So they had separate baggage? Yeah. He had it in his rucksack, all of it, 3.5 kilos, whatever it was, and no, his was, rucksack. The, which is not checked? Um, no, hand baggage. OK, yeah. Um, and, and it was foil It's cylindrical. Um, Vacuum packed, I would say, yeah, vacuum packed no. packages. I haven't encountered how many to be no, no, no. Um, And they straight away started saying that the bags were taken off them in St. Lucia um, and they thought something was odd and they've been set up. Being caught with this amount of cocaine is no laughing matter. Both suspects have since pleaded not guilty. But if convicted, this could be the first night of many behind bars. Still to come, a woman claims she's been treated unfairly despite the evidence. Yeah, I don't uh, no. Okay. Like you the wrong Coming up, officers get a coke hit from this man's toothbrush. But he's keeping his mouth shut. Quite a strong hit, that. In Gatwick, the sniffer dog teams are targeting a plane that's just arrived from St. Lucia. Following a number of recent cocaine seizures, the intelligence unit has identified a possible smuggler on this flight. It's up to the officers to find and search the suspect and find out if the information is correct. It's on six, seven or eight, it's something up there. She's... Do you know what she, is she wearing a distinctive? Um, got a shoulder, kind of shoulder bag um, and a Louis Vuitton hand, hand luggage as well. I just need to double check it is there actually. Coming up. Coming up. The woman is kept under surveillance as she passes through the airport. She's about the eighth or ninth one going on. That's fine, thank you very much, madam. Can you just stand still for one moment? Okay. Not all Intel targets turn out to be smugglers, so sniffer dogs like Sam are the quickest way to work out if someone has been in contact with drugs. Sam picks up a scent, but can't pinpoint the source. So now it's up to Kevin to search and question the suspect. Hello, where, where have you arrived from this morning? St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Like to come over with me very quickly. As Kevin begins the search, the woman seems edgy, and her body language is far from friendly. Right. <laughs> I hope she shouldn't take too long. Happen to yeah. Every year, yeah. Ever, ever, Unfortunately, ever. we do get. I don't, I don't oh no! Yeah, that, yeah. Of course, you don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe this. Yeah. I work hard for my living. Yeah. Unfortunately, what we, what we don't know is what some of these problems looks like. They're not. Me, I don't. Do this no. I never get stuck. No. Since I'm traveling. Yeah. Sometimes you pick the wrong person. Kevin's beginning to think she isn't carrying drugs and is just upset at being delayed. Well, I'll do a quick swab of your bag, OK? A quick drug swab should find out. She looks all right. I'll swab the bag. And I'll, I'll... The bag swab gives a surprising result. I also need to check the bags fully. I was hoping to get you on your way quickly. I'm getting a contamination for cocaine. Mm. Right, no, 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 let me explain, right? Just well, you, yeah, I'll, I'll need Can to I do it. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit longer, that's all. Okay. Okay. Right. The suspect's becoming impatient, but the coke hit combined with the intelligence means she isn't going anywhere just yet. In Manchester, a flight has just landed from Paris. The French capital has connecting flights to all the world's drug source countries, and UK border officers are on the lookout for any smugglers trying to slip through in the crowd. Simon, they just come through here. Are you travelling on your own or are you with somebody? And you're on, just come through here, please. How long have you been out for? Uh, three days. And what was the purpose of your trip? Uh, wedding in Paris. This passenger arrived from Paris, but began his trip in Thailand. Why did you go to Thailand for? Why? Yeah. All oh, right, OK. 
So how long are you in the UK for? Uh, till Sunday. Till Sunday. So what do you do in Thailand? I'm a cook. Border officer Zoobs is yet to catch his first cocaine smuggler. And disappointingly, this passenger's story sounds plausible. But a strong hit for cocaine from the passenger's passport raises suspicions. Next, Zoob swabs the man's toothbrush to work out if he might be a user. Quite a strong hit, that. Zoob gives the man a chance to explain the hit. Right, I've just actually done a quick swab of your passport and your toothbrush. Mm -hmm. It's giving me high traces of cocaine. Huh? It's giving me high traces of cocaine. Right. OK. Um, have you actually come into contact with cocaine in Thailand? No, no, no. In, in Thailand? Yeah. yeah but I'm not, I'm not a user. You did, but you're not a user. No, I'm not so how do you explain cocaine um, traces from a toothbrush, which is personal, just to yourself? I don't know. OK. With the man offering no explanation, Zoobs has to assume he's carrying drugs either in his bags or in his body. OK, I've actually had a high hit of cocaine from the trainers, right? How do you explain all these um, stuff? No. Now, if you've actually used cocaine out there, I'm not interested. In Thailand? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's... You've I used it out there now? I said that to you. No, you said you didn't. I did, I said that to you one, like, once or twice. Just once or twice yeah. in the past? And um, yeah. when was the last time that you've actually... Two months. About two months ago? It's not a problem. We need to know if you've used them in the past, you know, a few weeks. Yeah, I understand that. And you, you, you're saying you haven't. Right. You sure? But under pressure, the man changes his story again. Well, so when was the last time? I used it in Paris. In Paris? Oh, in right. Paris. So it actually wasn't two months ago. He's finally admitted using. But as he's already lied, the officers need to make sure he's not carrying any drugs. What's on there? It's a TV appearance on me. Have you? Uh, they're just a selection of uh, CDs and he's got one DVD. He's a celebrity chef, apparently. It's something to do with... Uh, that's what he said he was, a celebrity chef, some sort of TV programme. That's the passenger. Although some of the story checks out, Zoob still thinks the passenger may be a smuggler. Initially, he denied he was a user. Um, he's admitted to the fact that he first told me he last used two months ago. And then he came down to the fact that at the wedding where he went to in Paris, they had a big session. Have you asked him if they'd object to the search? I've, I've, I've not asked him, but just see the reaction, yeah. Still on the hunt for his first ever cocaine seizure, Zoobs puts the man on the spot. If we were to ask you um, for a search of a person, uh, would you object to that? <clears throat> I'm carrying two grams of cocaine. I have two grams of cocaine in my underwear. Right, OK. Zoob's persistence means he's just bagged his first ever cocaine seizure. The time is 17.35. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of control drug. You the man's admission is set to land him in a whole heap of trouble. Just take a seat on the back wall. Yes. And the seriousness of the crime is already starting to hit home. Back in Gatwick, Kevin is also dealing with a suspect whose bags are giving hits for cocaine. Dane, I've got low levels of cocaine. I'll have to go through this bag, because I've got the same thing on this bag. And you may put your arm on the counter or... The but this woman isn't very understanding about the already lengthy delay. Taking cocaine. And that can get on your clothes. Yeah. Just to put the bag through the x-ray. All looking for is concealments. 
It looks okay. It doesn't seem that heavy, but... Having ruled out all other causes of the coke hits, Kevin's last job is to x-ray the case. Yeah, there's some sort of thing here. It could well just be part of the bag makeup. I just did a check in the middle of the bags about there. There's nothing there. The anomaly is just a bar of chocolate. And that's what came up on the x-ray. They found cocoa, but not cocaine. The woman is now free to go. That's what's in there. Could you, could you, yeah, because the lady wants to go to the white, actually. Thank you. I've done him this morning, morning. Come to me, or you can see my dress. It's all funny. I never have a problem seeing some travel. Even in St. Lucia's, I never have a problem. This time, the search finds nothing. And despite Kevin's best efforts... Oh, dear. Yes. Uh, it's not easy. The passenger isn't impressed. Thank you. Back in Manchester, the officers have the celebrity chef caught smuggling cocaine in his pants under arrest. Yeah. He could be sent down. Importation of a Class A, so it's not a petty offence. The smuggler's plan began confidently. In research. But now he doesn't have the stomach to deal with the consequences. The man is visibly distressed, but Zoobs needs to get his hands on the cocaine hidden in his underwear. Are you OK, sir? Are you OK to continue? Can you bend down, please? Part your buttocks, please. OK, sir. Two small packages in plastic bags that were on his underwear. In the UK, one rabble probably about 50, 60 pounds. Um, for what it's actually worth, I mean, He's put his um, neck on the line. It's a small seizure, but with serious consequences. You do actually feel um, sorry for individuals, I mean, for doing things like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, they've actually committed a crime. It's especially significant for Zoobs, as it's his first ever Class A seizure. This was my first arrest for cocaine, so my heart was actually pumping, and it's like, it, from speaking to colleagues, they say regardless how many times you actually do it, um, your heart does pump, you, you do get a buzz. But there'll be no buzz from this cocaine. It will now be destroyed. A few days later, the man pleaded guilty and received two years conditional discharge for the crime.